All right, Jaden, tough match out there, three-one over Wellington. You know, talk about your finals performance. How do you think you wrestled? I think I wrestled good. You know, I followed game plan. He followed his. As you see, we know each other pretty well. You know, it's just I wouldn't say it's one of those tough matches. It's one of those matches where you just got to outsmart the other guy or hope for a slip up or something and uh, kind of go for it. But um, you know, it's one of those things. It was pretty fun. Though, I mean, like I said, he knows how I wrestle. I know how he wrestles. Two very athletic guys, you know, you can see why it's hard for them to want to go out there and just put out there, you know, we know what each other's uh, weaknesses and strengths are, so I mean, really good match, so. Tight matches, you know, like this one, the Burak one, obviously we know that Kyle Snyder's looming on the horizon, we don't know if he's going to be there, Schiller, Gatz, and the weight class is absolutely loaded, we're probably going to be the number one guy going in, obviously. Uh, you know, it, it's, it's pretty incredible looking at it, but you say you don't focus on any one man. No. What do you focus on? Focus on getting ready to wrestle. Like I said, you know, we said this the other day when we were interviewing, just saying, huh? I don't prepare for no man, I don't prepare for no event, I prepare to wrestle. You know, that's what I come here to do. I don't come here for nobody else, I don't come here to to please anybody else. I come out here to wrestle. That's what I'm, that's what I'm supposed to do. You know, there's a lot of talk about how, you know, wrestling's boring and stuff like that. And, you know, I, you know, I read stuff and I see that and it's just like, you know, it's just like, well, first off, you know, when they wrestle, it's not for you. They chose to do the sport because they love to do the sport because they want to. So they're, they're coming out to do their best, coming out to win. So, you know, they're coming out to to make themselves proud. Though as a fan, you may want some excitement, but that's not what it's about. It's about coming out here and getting the W. Having fun and coming out in the W. It's fun to win. You know, sometimes it's fun to lose, but I ain't never met somebody that's lost 50 times in a row and been like, oh my gosh, greatest time of my life. But, you know, but... You know, just come out here and we go and wrestle. That's what we all do. That's what we train for. You know, I really think about it. We go all year. We train for really eight matches and four different titles. You know, we train for the three matches in your conference right here, and the MAC championship and the individual. And then we go for five matches in the CAA's as a team and individual. You go all the year for that. So, you know, that's the big thing. That's the big stage. That's what we're looking to. It. So. You know. I think I think you've won 53 in a row now, some outrageous number like that. No, I, do. <laughs> I think it's 53. Um, you know, what's the key to your your success? You know, he mentioned you're winning all the close matches, you're winning all the matches you have to win. You know, what's been the key for you doing that? The consistency. I think belief in my in the system, belief in myself, belief in my coaches, my team. A big part was my team. You know, uh, I don't know, but like having the team a lot closer, it's brought the fight out of me a lot more, especially in those. Close matches, like I want, I want it so bad, because like you know, I have nine other guys, forty other guys actually, that everybody on the team. I got forty other guys that, that I'm fighting for right here. You know, I put in too much work. We've all put in too much work to not have that fight and drive for each other. And uh, you know, that, that's how close this team's been. It's, it's brought in something new out of me. You know, because I can tell you probably about three years ago, I probably would just bail out on a match like that or something like that. You know, something would have happened, let someone get to my legs. You know, I can stand stand in the middle and just, you know, you ain't gonna get there. You know, that's, so that fight's really come out of there. So does it put, you know, just that much more emphasis on everything, knowing that you guys have such a great team, you, I mean, you're going out there not to win just for yourself, for your team, you're looking at an NCAA team title, that's your goal, mm -hmm. you know, what does that do? It puts want in you, it puts drive. You know, the want to, to fight for your team, the want to do better, the want to do more during a match or something, you know, the want to, to give more, um, or not give up anything. I think that want, that drive, that you know has come from this team bonding. You know this team. We have you know coach talks about we have four steps and this is one of them. You know this tournament's one of them. And I think we did a pretty good job of it. We're never not done. Another thing is this, this team. Whenever we get back in that room, it's like we haven't done anything. You know, it's like we gotta get better. So it's on the line. And it's really cool. I like that. I like that about this team. And we still we don't talk about like I said wrestlers events or nothing. We we go out and we go to work. Work on us. I look at this crowd, I look at you staying at home. Now, how far is Hickman from here? Like, probably like, if you really want to know, like five minutes, three five minutes. Five minutes, not couple, even that. Two miles, maybe. Yeah. So staying here, that huge pro, Jaden Cox crowd, you're a, you're a franchise player, this is major league, you know, mm -hmm. they're building around you. What's that like knowing that, knowing this crowd is here? To see Jaden Cox, they stick around. I don't know if you know, but normally they don't stick around for, for heavier weights at some of these things, but knowing you're the franchise player here in Columbia and you're the guy that's stuck here, what's that mean to you to have a crowd like this and build? I mean, it's cool. It's great. I love it. I love uh, my family and, you know, having the whole crowd. I mean, it's wonderful, but 
it's just like I always say, like, you know, I, I, I'm not wrestling for everybody else. It's great that I'm going to be the guy that, you know, to say, well, Jay Cox is here. You should come here. Yeah, that's cool. You know, it's great. Actually, Coach probably won't let me do that <laughs> because <laughs> last time he told me to talk to somebody, you know, the last time we talked to somebody and everything, is just like, like, I was talking to him. It was like, you want me to be my honest opinion? Because he was asking me. And I was like, choose what's best for you. This is the biggest decision in your whole life. This is what you're going to have to do. I can tell you three, there's only three things I can guarantee. I can guarantee that I'll wrestle you because he's a big guy. I can guarantee that. I can guarantee that every day there's going to be days you want to quit and every day is going to be hard. And I can guarantee that with you or without you, we're going to win. You know, that's what I told him. But this is the biggest decision you got to decide. And lo and behold, that guy decided to come to Mizzou. So great. But the coach is like, you, you, you told him that? I'm like, yeah, I, I was truthful all along. So if something else fits him, I mean, this is like, this is five to six years of your life you're going to dedicate to this place. But So he probably won't let me talk to people that are getting recruited. <laughs> Just, that's the main point. <laughs> that. But guys are coming to wrestle you. They want to come and work out with Jaden Cox. Yeah, they you want. know that. You're a, you're a recruiting tool. <laughs> Whether you're honest or not. <laughs> <laughs> no, nah, if i you know, if they want to come wrestle me, they can come wrestle me. I mean, they got to come here, you know. So I'm going to be here. I'm going to be here for, for for sure a good two of the years. So, I mean, hey, you know, if you want to come out and wrestle, I'll, come, I'll put my shoes, I'll scrap. I don't have no problem. If they want to do it, they, they can do that, you know. But the thing is that they have to buy into is team. They have to buy into, you know, respecting one another, be having each other's back. And they also have to build into, the, you know, getting that drive, that one. And that's part of the, you know, getting to know your team. That's what they're going to have to buy into that stuff. You know, that's what our team's built off of, and that's what we're going to continue to do because it's working. You know, living your life right and doing everything right, it's working. Congratulations, Jaden. Yeah, thanks, Jaden.